to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning guys well, guess what? We are still over here, but those couple of trucks that were sitting there beside me last night have left, and uh, I'm getting ready to go inside. It's like four minutes before seven, so we'll go inside and talk to these people. Looks like uh, we got absolutely no wind out here today. It is cloudy though, but it's nice and quiet and peaceful up here this morning. That's nice. Now let's just keep our fingers crossed that we will get a reload pretty quick once we are empty over here. Sometimes they can take a while. Hopefully they do have a reload, just haven't sent it to me. So that would be fantastic. But uh, before that, let's go in and talk to these people and see if they are ready to unload me because I'm backed into their dock so they can't get access to it, right? So they only have one receiving dock, so at least according to what it says on top of their shipping door, right? Or on their on their dock door, you know? One is for shipping and one is for receiving, so. So I guess they could use the other one. The other one is still empty. I can see it in, in, in the mirror there. But uh, yeah, nobody else got here last night, so I'm the only one. But anyways, let's go check in and see what they got to say. Alrighty, guys, look at that. We are back there into the dock. We got our doors open. Yep, they checked me in right away. Guess what we are up to now? Have a look at that. We're gonna have ourselves a bowl of cereal. Probably gonna go ahead and do the logbook. And by the time they're unloaded, we are set to go. Now, if they send us a reload, we can put the hammer down. That's the goal anyways, right? So, let's get to it. Well guys, we are done unloading. As you can see, the dogs are over there. Yeah, and uh, I just finished sweeping out the trailer. And so that is all done. Sent our messages that we're empty. So we're just waiting to hear from dispatch. I just went and pulled aside over here, you know, just alongside the grass. I don't think I'm in the way of anybody here, so, well. I'm going to show you a little bit. My truck is a little bit dirty as you can see. So I went and got me my uh, vacuum cleaner out. Got me a little nice vacuum cleaner and it's got a... Uh, I'm going to get this hose off of here. I can actually grab this hose, put a little uh, extension, co uh, extension on it and uh, get into all them fine corners and everything. So uh, we're going to clean the truck. Since it's a little dirty, I've been cooking in here and living in here, so it gets dirty, right? So let's get to cleaning. Alrighty, guys, we have finished uh, vacuuming in here. Look at that. That looks a lot nicer, doesn't it? Yeah. So, still see some spots over here and stuff like that. It's a little bit dirty from maybe something dropping on it or whatever. And we got this uh, multi-purpose cleaner here or all-purpose cleaner here. It's like a spray let me show you a little bit goes like that yeah just like that and uh, I'll go and uh, take this uh, blue paper towel here and uh, I'll start wiping everything off off of the floor there and uh, getting into the cleaning you know I gotta be everything I gotta be a truck driver gotta deliver your value freight to you guys well close to you guys probably anyways maybe not directly into the store but very close to your store and I gotta be a secretary I gotta do a lot of paperwork plus I gotta clean I'm a cleaner truck driver secretary I guess you could say a video artist video producer well I can be a lot of things I guess <laughs> Anyways, let's get to cleaning. I am done with cleaning, I think. I think I did a pretty good job. Let's have a look. I wiped this whole cabinet off. I cleaned the microwave. I cleaned all these cabinets. 
everything even on this side I wiped everything off vacuumed in here looking pretty good now over here I was showing you guys earlier where it was dirty everything is nice and clean now I actually took uh, glass cleaner and I cleaned every single window on my windshield side windows I took the armor roll wiped off the whole dashboards and everything oh she is looking pretty good I think oh yeah truck probably hasn't been this clean in a while probably but uh, hey every once in a while we need to do cleaning especially since we don't have anything else to do so I already had breakfast I uh, unloaded all that stuff is done my logbook is ready to go I am ready to go now got a message from dispatch saying that they uh, don't have anything yet as soon as they got something they'll let me know so that kind of sucks but that's the way it goes sometimes especially with the dollar being so high right now the US dollar I'm talking about the Canadian dollar is fairly low right now it it's probably just going to get harder to get a load out of the U.S. because uh, nobody from Canada really wants to buy anything out of the U.S. because it's you know half as much money now. Because I mean, it's like a dollar thirty, dollar <sighs> thirty around there, Canadian dollars versus one dollar U.S. So if we go to buy anything that costs a dollar over here, I'm going to be paying a dollar thirty just to buy it, you know, and then to ship it and all the custom fees and all that, you know, kind of makes sense. But uh, it's the way the economy is right now and we just got to live with it, right? But anyways, my wife has been texting me there, so I'll go check my messages and see what she's up to. Just finished with all my cleaning, so... I guess we're just gonna put everything away now. Got my laptop, my all my paper towel and all that stuff over there or or that blue shop paper or whatever you wanna call it. And I might even clean the uh, display of my laptop yet, you know. Well, maybe we'll give that a good wipe off or whatever. So everything should be good to go as soon as we get a reload. So let's keep our fingers crossed we can get out of here soon. Here we go, guys. Let's put her in gear. Yeah. Let's get out of here, boys and girls. Yes, yeah, Sir Bob. Well, as I told you guys, it is hard to get a load out of the United States right now. And that is the truth, apparently. Because... I am getting sent back to Canada empty unless they find something uh, known between the border but that's the uh, war that I have been given right now is to uh, go to uh, Mississauga Ontario which is Toronto part of Toronto anyways yeah so let's get back on the road and uh, let's and go over to Mississauga. Lane, and hey, and, and you know, if we got time, we might go in there and we go might to go to Master Stick. Yeah, that's right. This is where we came in here last night. All dark in here. It was kind of hard to find this place, but we made it. We made it. Now the challenge is going to be getting out of here. But I think RJ is pretty good. He is looking at it. There when I uh, prepared on to go on my trip. I looked on uh, my laptop there on Google Maps. And uh, Turn right on. Hollow Road. compared it to uh, what RJ was telling me. I was uh, updating my GPS there too, and then uh, I was looking at it and see what he would tell me. And 
RJ, I think, is telling me a better way. <laughs> I really think. Google is designed to show the uh, car road. Yeah, well, there is no stop sign here, but there is a road there, so how the heck are you supposed to know if you're allowed to go? It's kind of hard to see. All right, here we go. So, let's get out of town, as I would like to say it. Let's get over to Toronto and see what they got over there for us. I'm sure they got a load there, otherwise they probably wouldn't be sending us there, so... Let's hightail over there, I guess you could say. Here we go, guys! We are coming into Canada! Yeah! I'm happy about that. There's a little bit of traffic coming into uh, into the area up here, but it was not terrible. It was, it was handable. You know, I could handle it. But look at these lights up here, eh? Look at them, they got different color lights. I was telling you guys the other day, the Windsor's got that too, eh? Look at that. I don't know how good the camera is gonna pick that up, but it's absolutely gorgeous at night, this bridge, you know? They change colors on them. My goodness, that looks awesome. Here we are. I'm gonna cross into Canada right about now. This is it. Here we are. That's how well look. It doesn't look too bad there at the border, at least from what I can see up here. Looks pretty good. Crossing border. There we Entering go. Ontario. We are in Ontario. That's right. We got 100 miles to go, or 146 kilometers right now, to uh, Mississauga. That's right. No, well, it doesn't look bad at all. There's a few trucks. They actually got all lands open. Meters. There's actually one that's right on. uh, truck is pulling onto that right now. Oh, that's pretty good. So we might get in and uh, through there. No, probably got a few trucks ahead of me here, I guess. A two coming right there, so it's gonna take a little while to get those through, but other than that, we're good. So Let's go through customs and then we'll see you guys on the other side. There you guys can see it, it's changing light, eh? Look at that. Yeah. Hopefully your camera will pick that up. But yeah, it is changing lights, eh? That it certainly is. Anyways, we gotta go. This is it, guys. We are across the border. Meters. Slide Only right on. a few Lake minutes Erie to cross. But now we got a uh, toll booth. I don't know why they have a toll up here. I guess it's for that... Uh, for that... Uh, bridge, I suppose. But uh, for some odd reason, uh, this cash lane up here is... Uh, is plugged up. Continue I guess this guy doesn't have cash or something. What's going on? We got an easy pass and they do accept that here, so we're gonna take the easy pass. That's right, here we go. Welcome to Ontario. Yeah, that's right. Now, we are in Canada officially. We got a DOT scale just coming up here down the road. That's all right. We're not gonna worry about that. We are legal anyways. Yeah, so let's put the hammer down and put ourselves into Toronto. ASAP. That's it guys, we are done for today. Let's have a look. Yeah, we're at a truck stop. We're in Bradford, Ontario. Yeah, that's it. It's been a long day, but we are done. Yeah, we stopped in here in uh, Mississauga at Master Steak and uh, had ourselves a really, really nice steak. Now, if you followed me on Facebook, you would have probably seen it. But uh, I just went into our husky there and had me a nice little shower and. And then I went over to uh, Master Steak, got me a steak, and then I went over to my pickup place and uh, did my trailer switch. Load was ready, and drove over here. 
That's it. So we are done. So let's go to bed. And uh, hope to see you guys on here on this channel again tomorrow. So stick around. And we'll see you then. This behind me, that day is gonna come. I'm breaking the walls down.